Lone Ranger. horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. On a hot summer's morning, a coach of the Lone Star stage line pulled into Diablo Junction, well over an hour behind schedule. The single passenger found this fact slightly annoying, especially since she happened to be the new owner of the Lone Star line. Hold them steady now. She's looking us over mighty careful. Morning, ma'am. I reckon you must be Mrs. Martin. Miss Martin. Oh, well. My friends back in Omaha call me Nell, and you're, um... My friends call me Whip, Miss Nell. Oh, yes, Mr. Bixby wrote that you'd meet me, but you're late. An hour and 47 minutes, to be precise. Mr. Bixby wrote that he was proud the way the line stuck to its schedule. Nothing against Mr. Bixby, ma'am, but those horses aren't what you'd call whirlwinds. All this luggage yours, Miss Nell? It is. I plan to be out west a long time, Whip. Yes, ma'am. Just make yourself comfortable inside, Miss Nell. Whip, why don't you ride inside with me? I'd like to learn just a little bit more about the Lone Star Line before I take over for Mr. Bixby. Be happy to ride with you, ma'am. Hank, give me a hand with this luggage. We'll be on our way to San Felice as soon as we get your things loaded, Miss Nell. Thanks. <laughs> been so long since I rode inside one of our coaches, I plumb forgot what it was like. I wonder that people actually pay money to ride on this thing. Not many do, Miss Nell. Mostly our work is mail and freight. Well, I hope the other coaches are at least a little cleaner than this. The other one's about the same. The other one? You mean there are only two coaches on the Lone Star Line? But there's a station building your brother owned and a stable. I have no idea. Ben used to write me that the Lone Star Line was the best. While your brother was alive, Miss Nell, that's when we really had a stage line to be proud of. But now, well, Mr. Bixby's done his best, I reckon. Well, it was nice of Mr. Bixby to take charge till I got here. But why didn't he write me and tell me these things? He didn't want to worry you, Miss Nell. Oh, and to think I sold my store in Omaha for this. <coughs> a two dirty coaches and a stable. I'm sorry, Miss Nell. Oh, well, never mind. What's done is done. I started my store in Omaha on nothing, and I can do the same with the stage line. And don't think just because I'm a woman... Whoop! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold them down, Hank! Hold them down! Whoa, 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 whoa! Do something, Whip! Use your brake, Hank! Whoa! Whoa! Come on, Toto. Just shaking up, I reckon. There's people in the coach. Are you hurt? Takes more than a turnover to bust my bones. You're masked. You and the engine. You were hired by Sam Blake. We were hired by no one. Tonto and I are here to help you. Then you can help me get Miss Martin out of the coach. She's likely dead by now. Lady not dead. Sound very much alive. Well, of all the things to happen, well, just let me alone. I'll help get myself out. All the things. Well, help me down. Oh. Are you hurt, Miss Nell? Well, I'm not sure yet. By any sense, I go back to Omaha. And I'm not giving up, not before I get started. That's the spirit, ma'am. Strange talk coming from an outlaw. I'm no outlaw. I have other reasons for wearing this mask. We see you in trouble and we try to help. Well, maybe you can tell us what caused the wreck. Let me look around, try to find out. What happened, Hank? We started down the hill and picked up more speed than I figured. I tried to use the brake and it wouldn't hold. 
If you ask me, Miss Nell, Sam Blake and his men tampered with that break. Sam Blake's been doing his best to bust the Lone Star ever since your brother's death. Sam Blake, the man who runs the Texas Ranger stage line? That's him. The Texas Ranger line competes with the Lone Star, Miss Nell. Well, Sam Blake is one of the leading citizens of San Felice. It's hard to believe that... He may be a leading citizen, but I'll wager my last pair of britches. It was him who hired the men that robbed our stage a month ago. And he poisoned our best horses and sneaked into our barn and cut our harness leather. Robbed the stage and poisoned our horses? Why didn't you tell me this, Whip? I figured you'd heard enough bad news from me, Miss Nell. Kimasabi, me find trouble. Someone has sawed those brake rod bolts more than halfway through. Sawed? Someone fixed whole stage turnover. Whoever it was knew you'd be carrying heavy luggage, counted on the extra weight to make the brake rod give way. But why? It's like I've been saying, Miss Nell. If Blake can't buy your line, he'll do all he can to run you out. Why, well, I'll have that Blake jailed the minute I hit town. But how are we going to get back to San Felice? Between the four of us and with a little help from Silver, I think we can write the coach. Horses stop down road. Me bring them back. Well, I don't know how to thank you for all your help. We're glad to be able to help you. First of all, we'll remove all the excess weight from the coach. Then we'll get some strong ropes and tie them up here on the... I reckon that does it, mister. The makeshift brake rod ought to hold us till we get to town. The road is fairly level from here to San Felice, but I'll have Tonto ride along to watch for any trouble. Thanks. We don't know how to thank you for all of this. Don't try. The West has little enough transportation. Tonto and I are interested in seeing that it all keeps moving. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Let's get rolling, Hank. Stubby Brownie! Me follow stagecoach, Kim Asami. Where are you going? I'm going on into San Felice ahead of the stagecoach. I want to have a little talk with Sam Blake. You think him the man who make trouble for Lone Star Line? I don't know, but I have a plan in mind that may expose him if he's guilty. Meet me later in that grove of trees by the creek south of town. Ah, me do, Kim Asami. Anxious to arrive in San Felice well before the stage, the masked rider urged his great horse, Silver, on to all possible speed. Circling around the outskirts of town, the Lone Ranger cautiously made his way to the rear door of Sam Blake's office. few moments of your time. Who are you and how'd you get in here? I came in through the back door. Sit down, I think you'll be interested in what I have to say. No, Mr. Blake, the front of the desk. I like to watch a man when I talk to him. If this is a holdup, you won't get much. We keep very little cash around the office. I said I wanted to talk. What about? Work. What kind of work? I can do most anything. Whoever's working for you now is pretty careless. Who sent you here anyway? No one sent me. I helped write the Lone Star stagecoach this morning after it turned over going through Devil Pass. Well, that's terrible. Was anybody hurt? Is Miss Martin all right? Then you knew that Miss Martin was on that stage. Of course. Everybody in town knew she was arriving today. Was she badly hurt? She was lucky, just shaken up a bit. Whoever fixed that brake rod, anyone could see that those bolts were half sawed. Oh, I'm beginning to understand now. You think because I'm Miss Martin's competitor that I'm responsible for that wreck? You stand to gain a lot by it. I don't do business that way. I've already offered a fair price for that line. If the Lone Star loses any more equipment, they won't be able to keep their franchise. Then Miss Martin will have to sell for almost nothing. What gives you the right to talk to me like this? Because I think you and I understand each other, Mr. Blake. Get out of my office. If you didn't have those two guns on you, get out! All right, I'm going. But uh, in case you change your mind, you show up around here again and the sheriff will be waiting. That I can promise you. Well. Mr. Blake. 
can I do for you? I came over to see if Miss Martin had arrived yet. I heard the stage had an accident. An accident? Yes, but I understand no one was hurt very badly. Tell her when she arrives that I came over to pay my respects and there's something rather important I'd like to discuss with her. If it's a business matter, Mr. Blake, you can tell me. I'm still her manager. I prefer to speak to Miss Martin personally about this. Suit yourself, Mr. Blake. I'll tell her you called. Thank you. I don't like it, Bixby. How did he get word about the wreck so fast? What difference does it make? The main thing is he gets blamed for it. Now stop worrying about it. That's easy for you to say. You just give the orders. What if someone was around when I sawed that brake rod? You said Whip and Hank were watering the horses. So they didn't see you? Yeah. So what's there to worry about? What makes you so sure people will think Sam Blake saw that brake rod? How many times do I have to tell you two? Whip is certain that Blake poisoned the horses and cut the harness leather. If he hasn't convinced Miss Martin by the time they get here... Well... Then she'll be the one to bring charges against Blake. Now you're catching on. We stay clear and look real innocent. From then on, it's simple. We break the Lone Star line. Frame Blake into jail at the same time. He can't run his company from the jail, so we buy his equipment cheaply and get the mail contract. You make it sound so easy, boss. It is easy. You and Spike follow orders and you... It's Miss Martin. Some Indian rode into town with a coach. All right, you two clear out of here. I'll call you if I need you. Right now, I want to make a good impression on Nell Martin before she returns to Omaha. I got a feeling she's not going to like it in San Felice. Thank you. You must be Mr. Bixby. Yes, ma'am. And you're Miss Martin. Welcome to San Felice and the Lone Star Line. Mr. Bixby, the most terrible thing happened. The coach turned over. Luckily, no one was hurt. Whip and the other man are taking it down to have it repaired. Whip tells me that Sam Blake's behind all this. I want that man jailed. Do you understand, Mr. Bixby? Blake? Sit down, Miss Martin, and tell me all about what happened. Did you have any further trouble on the way in, Tonto? Me not have trouble. Me listen while Miss Martin talked to Mr. Bixby. He very sure Sam Blake crook. He sounded like anything but a crook when I spoke to him. I hate to see charges pressed against an innocent man. Bixby say Blake want to buy line cheap. He told me he offered to buy the line at a reasonable price. When Ben Martin was alive, there was never any friction between the two companies. Why should trouble start just when Bixby takes over? Do you think Bixby man who make trouble? We don't know who's responsible, but we must try to find out. It's important that the stages be kept running. Nothing must block the expansion of the West. And what we do, Kimisami? I think we'd better have another talk with Miss Martin before we do anything further. Uh. I didn't come all the way from Omaha to sell my line, and that's final. That's not what I came to see you about, Miss Martin. I came over here to warn you about something. Save your breath, Blake, and get this straight. You do one more thing to ruin my business, and I'll have you thrown in jail. Now, if you'd only listen to me for just one minute... I've listened to more than I intended to. And the minute Mr. Bixby gets back from that store, I'm having him take me to the sheriff and demand that you're locked up. You're making a mistake, Miss Martin, but if you're entirely too stubborn... The only mistake I made was listening to the likes of you in the first place. Goodbye, Mr. Blake. Forgive me. Come in, gentlemen. I hope we're not intruding, Miss Martin. We wanted to talk to you about Sam Blake. Well, Blake just left here. He said he wanted to warn me about something, but I wouldn't listen to him. Mr. Bixby is taking me to the sheriff, and I'm pressing charges against Blake. Well, aren't you being a bit hasty? Hasty? What do you expect me to do? Just sit down and let them ruin my line completely? I discussed this with Mr. Bixby, and he agrees with me. The sooner this man is in jail, the better. Do you have any real evidence against Sam Blake? Well, not exactly, but he's guilty, all right. Who else would be interested in breaking the Lone Star? Where is Mr. Bixby now? Well, he's gone to the store after supplies. Me smell smoke. What's wrong? Smoke come from Stable. It's on fire. Come on, Toto.
Keep clear, Miss Martin. We'll handle this. Come on, Tonto. Why, I can... Get back. Beat that flame out. Does it, Tonto? Looks like the fire's all out. Lucky we catch in time. Yes, it wouldn't take long for this entire barn to burn. It seems odd that none of the stable men were around. Kimisabi, look. What about it? Texas Rangers stage line. Sam Blake's line. Now do you doubt that Blake started the fire? I admit it looks bad for Blake. So I required evidence against Blake, did I? Well, this is it. I'm going straight for the sheriff. Miss Martin. Do you trust me enough to wait until Tonto and I can look around the stable for further evidence? Well, you have helped me out of serious trouble twice today, but... All right, what do you want me to do? Take this coal oil bucket and wait for us at your quarters. If Mr. Bixby comes back, keep him there until we can join you. Well, I don't understand it, but all right. Mr. Bixby. I told you not to be seen with me. It was hard enough making an excuse to be away while you set the flames. Well, there's been trouble. Before the fire did much damage, somebody put it out. Put it out? You blundering idiots. I told you to make sure the flames would catch. Who put it out? Uh, it looked like some masked man and an Indian. A masked man and an Indian? Likely the same two she told me about. Helped her when the stage turned over. I wonder what they want. I don't know, Bixby, but I think we ought to get rid of them. Fast. Don't worry, I can handle them. Did you plant that evidence? We left the coal oil can. They must have found it. Well, I hope you two didn't leave any other evidence. That would implicate us. Well, we didn't bust, did we, Joe? Well, you better get back to the stables and make sure. And don't let anybody see you nosing around. We won't, boss. I've got to get back. I want Miss Martin to press charges against Blake right away. Kimisabi, me see Bixby go into Miss Martin's room. Tonto, come here. Green paint, Kimisabi. It's the same color green as the lettering on that coal oil can. Same brush used to? Seems to be. I think that can was a plant. Whoever set this fire left it here purposely, knowing Blake would be accused. Who do you think do this? I know a way to find out. Bring that kerosene. We'll go have a talk with Miss Martin and Mr. Bixby. There's no doubt about it now. We should take this at once to the sheriff, Miss Martin. Yes, when I think what might have happened. Oh, no, Mr. Bixby. These two are friends of mine. They put out the fire for me. They look to me like outlaws. Sometimes outlaws can be disguised in other ways. What do you mean by that? Evidence can be disguised, too. Tonto, give me some of that kerosene. I was right, Tonto. It is fresh paint. And there's lettering underneath. Oh, the lettering? Now it reads Lone Star Stage Line. Well, why would anyone want to paint over the name? Why, Mr. Bixby? I really can't understand it. I... If you look at the green paint on Mr. Bixby's right hand, that might explain things, Miss Martin. Why, you meddling... Don't draw. Drop your gun. I trusted you, Mr. Bixby. How could you do this to me? You can't prove anything against me. We'll let the law decide that. Tonto, I'll keep him covered while you get the sheriff. Yeah, everything looks all right to me. We didn't leave anything. Who's that? It's that Indian again. We better take care of him this time. What are we going to do with him? We'll let the boss decide that. We're going to tie him and gag him and lock him in this closet. I wish Tonto would get back with the sheriff. He should be here soon, Miss Martin.
All right, masked man, drop your gun and reach. Blake, you don't understand. Shut up and get your hands high. I warned you, masked man, not to stay around here. Now then, we'll all take a nice little walk down to the sheriff's office. We're not going anywhere. Drop that gun, Blake, or you get a bullet through your back. What? Drop it. Bixby, you won't get away with this. Remember, Tonto's gone for the sheriff. By the time they get here, it'll be too late for all of you. Now get moving towards the barn. I'll explain later. Joe, get the coal oil. We're starting another blaze, and this time it'll really burn. And these people will just happen to be inside. Sure, boss. Come on, we've got to hurry. That Indian's on his way for the sheriff. No, boss. Joe and I took care of him. We tied him up and locked him in the barn closet. Good work, Spike. That makes everything nice and easy. We tie him up, set the fire, and clear out. All right, all of you, inside. Spike, get the ropes. Joe, you spread the coal oil up. I'll keep them covered. That plenty close call came inside me. Yes, Tonto. The sheriff will have a warm reception for these three. Get some rope and we'll tie them up. Can you ever forgive me? To think that I accused you and you stepped in and helped save my stage line. Without the aid of your slipper, Miss Martin, I'm afraid I would have been very little help. How can I ever thank you for all you've done? Saving your stage line is thanks enough for us, Miss Martin. After everything that's happened, uh, are you still going to try your hand at running that line? Sam Blake, do you want to sell out your Texas Ranger line? No, I don't. I've spent years building that company. Why not merge? A combined stagecoach line would offer better service for passengers and mail. Merge? Merge, did you say? Well, why not? I think Mr. Blake would be very easy to get along with. Well, now, I'm sure that applies both ways. Well, we might even merge our names. I mean, of our companies. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, we could call it the Texas Star Line. Well, better still, we could use our other two names for our companies and name the new line after the man who made it possible, the Lone Ranger. Hello, Silver! Hello! 